Hello to our fans online. I'm Rob Nelson. And I'm Sunny Hostin with the top stories on this Tuesday, January 8th. It was an emotional day in a Colorado courtroom as a pretrial hearing got underway in the Aurora Theater shooting case. One of the first police officers on the scene testified that he slipped and almost fell down because there was so much blood on the floor. The testimony brought back raw feelings for survivors and victims' families. Given the amount of evidence against Holmes, legal experts say they doubt the case will ever go to trial. On Capitol Hill, the stage is set for a tough fight. Now that President Obama has nominated former Republican Senator Chuck Hagel to be the next Secretary of Defense. Hagel, who's been accused of being hostile to Israel and soft on Iran, has come out swinging at critics, telling a Nebraska newspaper there is not a shred of evidence that he's anti-Israeli. However, President Obama says Hagel is the right man with the right background for the job. And it's finally time to go home for some property owners along the New Jersey shore. Nine weeks after Superstorm Sandy, residents of single family homes were allowed to return. It was a major step forward and it brings a sense of hope that normalcy can return soon. But there's still a lot of work to be done to rebuild. And in last night's big BCS National Championship, the Alabama Crimson Tide rolled over Notre Dame and won the game. Total lopsided score here. Total route 42 to 14 on Alabama's opening drive. Eddie Lacy ran right through the fight in Irish on a 20-yard TD run. The 82-year-old 82-yard drive was the longest given up this season by the Irish before the night was through. And Lacey would run for 140 yards. The Irish didn't score until the third quarter when they were down 35 zip. It is Alabama's third BCS title in four years. Wow. Sorry. I know you're a Notre Dame proud alum. So ugly. It was not a pretty night for you guys. Sorry about that. Roll tide roll though. <laughs> <laughs> you can get more news anytime at abcnews.com. I'm Rob Nelson. And I'm Sunny Haas and thanks so much for watching. This is World News Now. Available anytime, anywhere you want it.